Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss uh, problem number 242 of lead code which is valid anagram and anagram is basically a word uh, which we can uh, regenerate from a particular word by rearranging its uh, alphabets. For example, uh, for example, let's say we have a word anagram. So by rearranging uh, the alphabets of this word, if you can generate another word, then th that word would be anagram of, then both words are anagrams of each other. Okay, and here R A T and C A R. So there are no possible way by which we can arrange R A T to form C A R. So both are both are not anagrams of each other. Okay, so what would be our approach? Let's say, let's see. Okay, let's say we have a word. Let's say we have a word. First is YouTube. And let's say another word is Q U T O B E Y. So we know that both are anagrams of each other because I have uh, rearranged the letters of this word. Okay. But how to check if both are anagrams of each other or not? So what we would do, we would store the frequency of each alphabet in the string. Let's say this is string S and this is string T. So what we will do is store the frequency of each alphabet in string S. So what is the frequency of Y? 1. Frequency of O? 1. Frequency of U? 2. Frequency of T? 1. Frequency of B is also 1. Frequency of E is also 1. So we have, tra we have traversed to string S. Now, after that, we would traverse through string T and decrement the frequency count of that particular alphabet. So, if uh, the string is Y, if the alphabet is U, then we would decrement it by 1. Okay, then I will go to next element. Decrement the frequency of that particular alphabet by 1. Okay next element we would traverse and decrement accordingly okay o minus 1 b decrement e and y okay so all the frequency counter is equal to 0 now if at any point the frequency is less than 0 then we can say that uh, these are not anagrams of each other otherwise they are anagrams of each other because and the frequency has become again zero okay so let's say if i change one alphabet let's say i change this change this to let's say a okay so now what happens if we uh, if we traverse through string t then it would decrement the frequency of uh, alphabet A by 1. Now, here in string S, the frequency of alphabet A is already 0. Okay. Now, if you decrement it by 1, it will become minus 1. So, if at any point the frequency count after decrementing becomes less than 0, then we can say that both are both are not anagrams of each other. Otherwise, uh, if the loop complete, if the loop completes uh, successfully, then they are anagrams of each other. And one more condition first we have to check that if the size of string s and size of string t are equal or not if they are not equal then the uh, strings are not anagrams of each other so let's move to the coding part so here first we would check if the strings are uh, size of strings are equal or not size not equals to t dot size then return false otherwise we would create a vector 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 of size 26 and it is initialized to already it is initialized to 0 so now we would traverse through string s for int i equals 0 i less than s dot size 
and I plus plus. So now what it does is that it increments the position to increase the position of a particular index by one. So if character SI is character C, then C minus A would be two. So H of two plus equals to one. The value of H2 is incremented by one. Okay. Then if A SI is A, then A minus A is zero. So H of zero is incremented by one. So the, in this way, we store the frequency of all the elements of string S. Now we will traverse to string T. Okay. Now I would create an integer variable int x and we would decrement the value of the particular alphabet okay frequency of that particular alphabet so what we would do we would create uh, we would minus minus h of t of i minus a so it would decrement the frequency of um, alphabet ti by one okay now if, uh, we would check if if x is less than zero then return false otherwise otherwise if the loop complete successfully it means that the all values has become equal to zero so in that case we can say that the both are anagrams of each other okay let's check yeah submit it Alright, submit it successfully. So that's it. Thank you.